Hey buddies, some nuts guy here. Hope you're having an awesome day so far and welcome back for more RL Craft. Today, we are going to start moving towards the end game. There's a few things that we still want to get before we start doing the end game bosses, like and I bosses, but today I hope to manage to gather all those things and get Ray Havard completed. Alrighty, let's go. Some nuts guy. Grab gaming by the nuts. Firstly, we never actually made an enchanted med kit, which is silly because enchanted med kits are absolutely pogs. So we're going to make one of those and we're just going to enchant that quickly because enchanted med kits can be enchanted. Even though they're already enchanted, you can enchant the enchantment to be enchantful. So we'll give that unbreaking, we'll give it mending, but we'll also give it unbreaking three just so we can use it a little bit more as well. Pog. Now this is really nice. It heals... A bunch of hearts, uh, heal amount, four hearts, four hearts, and it gives you resist, uh, what's it called? Absorption. It also gives you absorption. Now, one thing that's on our list is Babiko meat, funnily enough, because we haven't gotten any of that so far, and we need that to make battle burritos. All right, the first thing we want to get is some bone spores because there's a certain potion that we want to make called the iron skin potion because we haven't had a potion ring of iron skin and iron skin is quite pog indeed. So we're going to get ourselves some bone spores so we can make an iron skin potion. Ah, some bone spores right over there. Nice. That was right as soon as we entered the nether pretty much. And yes, I'm spider manning around again. Figured why not? This'll be our this'll be our Spider-Man <laughs> Nether Arc series. <laughs> oh, it was actually such a fun episode. It's so silly that I didn't actually need to do that, but it was totally worth it. To be honest, I only had to be in here for a few seconds anyway this time. Alright, it's potion making time. There we go. And we slap some dragon flesh in there. And we get iron skin. Very nice. And we want to upgrade this to... Well, I guess it doesn't really matter, but... We can put some glowstone in there to make it iron skin too. Although we're going to be using wine anyway, of course. We want to try and finish off getting the... Perfect qualities on our baubles as well. We still need the undying for the shield of honor and maybe for the dragon's eye, but honestly, we might just leave that healthy. Now, how many glowing ingots can we get? We have 14. Now, I've gone through a lot of glowing ingots for the reforging of this, so hopefully, hopefully these last 14 will do it because I do not want to go out and get more blaze rods. Oh, we got healthy. Do we just leave it as healthy? Kind of tempted. All right, we left it as healthy, and we now have 4.5 rows of hearts. That's That works for me. That's fine. All right, so I do want to test something, because there is something called potion sickness in 292 now, where if I think it's 13 potion effects, you have negative effects... And I don't really know how it works, but I want to make sure we don't get it with all the buffs that we plan on doing for the bosses. And I also realized that as we will get the regeneration from our battle burrito, we won't need the um, feral claws. Uh, no, we won't need the re ring of regeneration. So we can use the feral claws to increase our melee attack speed along with the phalus claws. will be a claw boy, which means we need to reforge the feral claws as well, which I'm thinking is spectral silt probably... Yep, that's good. I'm dying. Well, that was fast. Pog. Why couldn't you do that for the honor shield, bro? Then we also want to get hardy for these. So let's see if we can get that quickly. There we go. Nice. All right. So how we're going to do this is we are going to have our potion ring of reach and our potion ring of health boost on. We are then going to drink some wine. We got a bunch of our wine set up. So we're going to drink wine. Uh, well, I guess I don't need to use the wildberry wine just yet. Um, because it doesn't matter about the level. We just want to check whether we get potion sickness or not. So we take off both of our claws. And we put on the reach and health ring boosts. Then we're going to eat a battle burrito. 
and then we're going to eat an explorer's risotto. Then we're going to drink a potion ring of guarding. Potion of guarding. Not going to eat a ring. <laughs> and then, uh, well, we don't need to use the wine, I guess, either. But uh, actually, no. I, oh, Root Ryan. Okay. Well, so I'll just ignore that while we do this. Excuse me. <laughs> Dickhead. All right, so if we battle burrito, risotto. Oh, I got potion sickness four. What does that mean, though? Oh, we have so many buffs. What does potion sickness actually do? We actually have way too many buffs. Okay. Uh, what does it do, though? Can't even tell what it does. I'm incredibly slow for some reason. But that's because I'm paralyzed. Is that from the potion sickness or the mobs? I don't think any of these mobs give par paralysis. So I guess it's the potion sickness. Hmm. I don't actually have my weapon on me. I'm bleeding, got plague, but that's from the. Triffids, of course. Just need to get inside so I can get my weapons. Oh, God. Excuse me. Coming through. Okay. Whew. So what does potion sickness actually do? I don't understand. Oh, it seems like it's just giving me random negative effects periodically. So I'm bleeding and I'm jailed. Jailed means I think I can't move at all. Okay, so potion sickness periodically gives you random negative effects. All right, we're going to have to prioritize then. Maybe we don't use the Explorer's Risotto because that gives us jump boost and swift swimming, which we don't need. And fall resistance. So we'll just use a potion ring of speed instead of that, because we want the speed. Okay, so this time we're going to keep these rings on, drink some wine, put the speed ring on, eat a battle burrito, and the... and the. Uh, oh, I didn't even take the guarding potion last time either. Hmm. Right, let's drink a wine, increase the duration here. Eat a battle burrito. Put the ring of speed on. Then the iron skin. Okay. That seems like it'll be fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It'll be twelve because we just lost the rejuvenation. The only concern here now is that our weapon. Where did I put my stuff? Our weapon has. Oh no, I didn't put subject P on it. I thought I had subject P on there. That's actually good because subject P gives you random potion effects. Um and could have given us potion sickness. Okay, this seems like it's the perfect setup. We'll have 12 buffs. 13 will give us the potion sickness. So this is the ideal setup. Cool. Pog. Good. You know, instead of the ring of reach, I love reach, but it may not be necessary. Instead of that, because we do already have a decent chunk of reach, we might take chupacabra meat for extra leeching. All right, so next up, we need to get a demon soul stone to get the demon soul cube. So we'll spawn an ebon cacao demon to do that. And to spawn an ebon cacao demon, you need to create this altar and use a soul key. Kapow! Hello, am I? Hmm, probably should have mounted. What the hell? Oh, don't shoot stuff at my base. My base is over there. Come back here. Yo, what the hell? Do you mean to arrows? That did not quite go as smoothly as planned. I don't like that you're near my base right now. Let's angle ourselves so he doesn't hit our base. Okay, good. What the heck? 
What the heck? This is kind of cool. Looks like I got an arcane shield. For some reason the glowing is interacting weirdly with my pike, I guess? What the frick? That's cool. Ah, here's the demon soul stone. Those are a little scrappy, but they also got some gas tears. Not that we need those. Now that we got our demon soul cube. Oh, do we have ender biotite? Yes. Oh, good. I'm glad I did not want to have to go grab that. That would have been annoying. And we're also going to have to make a demon stone, nether wart and cobble. All right. Demon soul cube. Pog. One more soul key. And uh, I think we'll be good to go. Now, Ray of Art has to be spawned in the nether. So off we go to the nether. And what I usually like to do is to spawn Ray of Art as close to the uh, nether roof as possible. So we just clear out a nice little area here. And that way, it's uh, less of a chance of getting interrupted by lots of other mobs. And it also makes the arena look quite cool when you have like... The just endless nether sky, I guess, above it. Does the nether have a sky? Alright, so we got a little area cleared out here. And we'll need to build the altar, which, uh, if I remember correctly, is three obsidian and then a diamond block. We're going to create four pillars like this. And then there will be another pillar in the middle, which will be two. And then the soul cube... And then two more obsidian on top of that. Pillars have to go like this. Like this. Lovely. Oh my god. I was not expecting that. Jesus. Alright. Our, alt our altar is complete. Alright. So I'm probably not actually going to use my bow. And I can't use any of these. Because you can't break blocks or use the grapple in the arena. So I might as well take those off my hotbar, and we're just going to get all buffed up, ready to rock and roll uh, before they do this. So, what we're going to do take the regen ring off, take the Phalus cloth, put on these rings. We won't need the regen ring because we get regen from the burrito. This is the health boost and the speed ring. So we are then going to drink a wine to increase the duration on those buffs. So we can then take those off and put on the Phalus claws, eat our battle burrito gonna drink our iron skin potion and we're gonna quickly drink another wine increase the duration of those eat the chupacabra meat to get the leech eat drink more wine just drink pretty much all this wine to get the max duration of the buffs for uh for how much wine we have and then we're gonna drink two more wild berries to get those maxed up to the maximum of level three which is the highest level that wild berry can give us and uh, you don't actually have to move. As long as you just stay still, the uh, spiral, the green flame spiral should spawn some distance away from you. I can pretty much just start clearing out uh, some of these little dudes on the sides just to make sure we don't get swarmed. I mean, this probably shouldn't be too much trouble for us. But uh, it's 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 a good idea to clear out some of these guys if you're not as strong as I am. That guy's annoying. Maybe I should have got my bow out. He's going to create timers and stuff. But, uh, but yeah, this is going to be a new problem. But we're going to take it slow. I want to show you the green flamey boys, the belts that have the green flames. These guys here. So I need to take these guys out. Wow, there's an Argus? Where did the Argus come from? Uh -huh. Bruh. And as you can see, if I can... Oh, well, they kind of get knocked back, actually. Well, that's interesting. They're kind of moving away, but you see the green flames? I'm going to keep wanting to take those guys out. And I pretty much just roll around. What I can also... What I've done is uh, I've increased my sneak skill, so combat the stealth damage. So if I can crouch, I actually should get a damage multiplier. I'm not getting it. Hello? Where's my damage multiplier? Hello? Oh, it's because I'm saying ow. Stop saying ow. There you go. Damage multiplier, two and a half times for crouching. And uh, I want to show you his big flame attack. I'm going to blow. So you see he has two uh, orb flames. Orbs of flame. Flame of flame orbs. There you go. Flame orbs. It actually goes up to five. So five flame orbs, he should do his ability... Hopefully it doesn't spawn on me because it wrecks you pretty fucking fast. Okay. I'm going to go close. The, the the visual fur is buggy. You see how I didn't get that close to it even and it started wrecking me. So that's that's why you don't want to let that happen. It doesn't take all your buffs off straight away. It kind of takes them off one by one, but very quickly. But I just want to be aware of that and not let that happen. We'll be Gucci. We all good. Easy, easy, lemon squeezy. Not too much trouble at all. <clears throat> 
All right, now what do we got? We got another stars from that, right? Yes, we got another stars. Get some diamonds, models, well snagglers. Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to get my loot. I'm trying to hit you, but you keep getting knocked back. Uh, and do we need any of this other stuff? We'll take this blaze powder. And we'll take that blaze powder. We'll take these blaze rods. And we need the demonic hearts to summon the next boss. So if you want to do all the bosses, make sure you get those demonic hearts. Excuse me, sir. Who fired that? Pow! Um, and we don't... You get a bunch of demon soul stones. Three. We don't need those, though. Um, you also get a wraith sigil, which, honestly, I've never really used. It's kind of a magic item that creates wraiths and explosions. <laughs> Wait, it got stuck. Kind of cool, but never actually really used it to any particular value. And, uh, and that pretty much is that. Very nice and easy. I forgot to bring a scroll, damn it. I'm going to have to find my way back to the portal. This should be right below me. Oh, that's lava. That's fine. Nice little lava bath. Did I go too low? I may have gone too low. Hello, portal, where are you? I've gone past it. Is it above or below me? Hello, portal, where are you? Lost. This is a cool looking area. Check this out. The new nether. I love the glowing because I don't think these spores used to glow like this. It's just super ominous and kind of pretty in its own little spooky way. The hell's the exit? How do I get out of here? Ah, right, here we go. Up here, I'm pretty sure. Excuse me, sir. Thank you for the boost. I appreciate it. And we're on our way home. Oh, I got this funny glow. Yeah, so it's glowing. It's kind of bugging out and being weird for some reason. I don't really know. What's causing that? But, uh, but yeah, that, as they say, is that. And the funny thing, I don't really know what else to include in the boss episodes, because I want to do sort of one boss per episode, if that makes sense. But also, they end up being quite short, because I don't know really what else to include in a boss-killing episode. Unless you, like, need to gather resources or anything. However, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. And it's always great to see you in the comments. Hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Take care.